Hi Brolies, Marvin here from TechBureau.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy bureaus. And today we're taking a look at something unique in the mechanical keyboard market space as we take a look at the Epo Maker NT68 Wireless Mechanical Keyboard, a keyboard that is primarily built with portability in mind and is targeting laptop and tablet users. This is currently available for pre-order via their Kickstarter campaign and on their official website. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright, as usual, let's start with the unboxing experience. The packaging, as you can tell, is pretty standard for the collaboration between Epo Maker and Skyloom. We have this gray box, and then on this side, we have the information for our particular variant, which in this case, we have the Skyloom Chocolate Red Switches, and the keyboard's colorway is gray with dark gray and red keycaps. Upon opening the box, the first thing that you'll notice is the user manual, and as I've mentioned earlier, this is targeted towards laptop and tablet users. Next, we have the Epo Maker NT68 itself, nicely protected by clear plastic. And then right here, we have the rest of the package contents. So we have this nice velvet pouch that apparently houses two short cables, one USB Type-C to USB Type-A and one USB Type-C to USB Type-C cables that I think can only be used for charging the keyboard or connecting the keyboard on top of a laptop because it is extremely short to be used on a PC. Aside from that, we have some extra keycaps for Windows OS as this keyboard is compatible with both Windows and Mac OS. We also have a plastic keycap puller and a switch puller, giving us an idea that this keyboard is hot swappable. And lastly, we have some extra chocolate switches right here, maybe to let us try out their new switches and also as a replacement in case a switch becomes faulty at some point. Oh, by the way, we also have these little rubbers that I don't really have an idea about their purpose. Finally, let's take a look at the Epo Maker NT68 Wireless Mechanical Keyboard. And apparently, it comes protected by this sort of multi-purpose cover. This cover slash stand allows you to use the keyboard alongside your tablet or smartphone without having to buy a separate accessory for that. Now, at first look and touch, the Epo Maker NT68 has a decent heft to it. And as per checking, it weighs roughly around 560 grams. And with a full aluminum top housing, the build quality is really robust and it doesn't flex at all as you can see here. Alright, so let's do a quick parts overview before we move on to the rest of its features. In terms of the layout, we have a 65% form factor with exactly 68 keys. So we have dedicated arrow keys and 4 extra keys here on the right side, which is of course better than a regular 60% keyboard in terms of ease of use. However, I'm quite confused why they decided to put the function key on the left corner, which makes transitioning to this awkward layout harder than usual. Or at least for my personal experience, I had a hard time getting myself comfortable with having the control key on the second key away from the corner, especially for doing simple tasks like control C, control V, and even for crouching and FPS games. So yeah, definitely a drawback for me in terms of the transition experience coming from another keyboard. Another thing that's worth noting here is that in able to accommodate all the keys on such a small form factor, other keys were also adjusted in terms of their size. So keycap compatibility could be a challenge as well. Other than that, the layout is pretty straightforward. We even have substantial legends and sub-legends to be able to learn how to use this keyboard intuitively. Again, this keyboard is compatible with both Windows and Mac OS, and we also have some lighting effects keys here. And since this keyboard is Bluetooth 5.1, you can connect this up to three different devices. Now, flipping it on the front side, as you can see, it features a low-profile case, which means half of the switches are visible, or in other terms, floating keys. Flipping it on its side, interestingly, the USB Type-C port is located here, which makes it easier to connect this keyboard to a laptop when you place it on top. We also have a small LED indicator and a switch between wired and wireless modes right here. Flipping it on the back side, it is fairly clean since the USB Type-C is now located somewhere else. And then turning it all over at the bottom, we have four tiny rubber feet, the usual branding, and a technical information sticker here. Now, the bottom housing is actually made out of plastic, while the top housing is made out of aluminum. Overall, in terms of design and construction, it is pretty good, but again, the layout is kinda weird. Going back to this convertible stand slash cover, again, you can place your tablet or smartphone right here and use those devices with this keyboard. You can also use this stand for the keyboard alone, use this for a laptop, or simply place the keyboard on top of a laptop, and of course, again, you can use this as a cover or protection for the keyboard when you're out and about. The possibilities are almost limitless. Now, in terms of the stock keycaps, it is made out of durable PBT plastic with die sublimated legends. The legends will not fade away over time, and the keycaps will not shine easily over time as well. 
Essentially, as long as you're okay with colorway, this should last long enough even after the keyboard slash pad. The profile of these keycaps is DSA, which is closer to DSA profile with some slight differences especially on the shape of the bottom row. The thickness of this keycap is around 1.7mm for those of you who are interested. Now in terms of the switches, what we have here is Kylung's own chocolate red switch which shares the same characteristics of a regular switch with an actuation force required of 45 grams give or take and a standard travel distance of 2 to 4 millimeters. Probably the key difference is the color and materials used. It feels quite decent, not the scratchy but not the smoothest either. By the way, this keyboard is also available in Gateron switches and there is also a low profile version of this keyboard with Gateron low profile switches. Oh yes, before we forgot, this keyboard is at swappable and the PCB actually supports 5 pin PCB mount switches so replacing the switches on this keyboard should be a piece of cake. As for the stabilizers, they have pre-applied lubricant but I honestly feel like it is not enough to remove the rattle entirely on these stabilizers so if you're an enthusiast and you want to make this keyboard sound better, you'll definitely have to modify this and why not lube the switches while you're at it. Here's a sound test so that you can have an idea of how the Skylung Chocolate Red switches sound on the Epo Maker NT68 keyboard. Moving on in terms of illumination, as with most mechanical keyboards nowadays, this one also features SMD LEDs or surface mounted LEDs. As you can tell, it is bright enough even in a very dim environment. I'm not going into detail when it comes to all the different lighting effects, but essentially we have two modes, full illumination and reactive lighting effects. Now obviously the issue here is that since we're using a non-shine through keycaps, some of the illuminations are blocked. Now, as for the performance, wireless connectivity is pretty good, stable, and reliable as long as you keep a decent distance between the keyboard and the host device. This keyboard has 1900 mAh of battery and should last at least 2 to 5 weeks depending on the usage and 20 to 80 hours with RGB lights turned on. Charging time is around 8 to 10 hours. That's as per specifications, unfortunately and honestly, I don't have enough time to test that out. This keyboard also has software that is pretty much identical to any Geek or Skylung keyboards which I've reviewed extensively before so I'll just put some links below so that you can check it out. So to conclude, the Epo Maker NT68 wireless mechanical keyboard again targets those users who typically work using their smartphones, tablets, and laptops and are always on the go. For that purpose, this keyboard is a very good option as it features a very compact form factor it comes with a nifty cover slash multi-purpose stand and overall, it offers pretty much anything you need on a mechanical keyboard and more. The only drawback that I can think of is the weird day out, but if you're willing to sacrifice some time to getting used to it, then it shouldn't be a problem. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Huge thanks to Epo Maker for sending this in. You can get this either from their ongoing Kickstarter campaign or by pre-ordering on their website. Check the link below to learn more. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day guys, you're awesome.